So you could be someone that is very mature, very family oriented, and you're um you could be manifesting a lot right now. With great fortune being here. It's like you're being showered with blessings. Yeah, then you have sudden wealth. So you could be getting ready to receive some type of sudden wealth. Or good luck. Yeah, this has somebody concerned. Somebody is concerned. This could be something that you're doing for work. You're getting ready to be very abundant or successful. And this concerns another person. Now, maybe this person was working hard to raise some type of concern or some type of confusion around you. And now they're they're concerned because they feel like whatever they did, it didn't work. Yeah, this is somebody who definitely had help. They had other people. This this could be someone that had family members. Um like working with them to create some type of confusion around you. Yeah. And whatever confusion that they were um, trying to create, this was supposed to like hold you up. Have you at a stalemate, stop you from getting to this um, great fortune, this sudden wealth. Because this is someone who's seen your true potential and they panicked. And they felt like they would stop whatever it is that you were doing for work and just place your life on hold. Yeah. But this person is in disbelief. They feel like you've moved forward in life with Journey being here. This is someone who was keeping their self held up, not you. Have been a karmic soulmate somebody that you moved on from this could have been a family member a friend or an ex take it where it resonates yeah this is someone who um like ganged up a lot of people to spread some type of lies about you and these are people that you don't know that spread it these lies but it came from whoever this person is that you walked away from. Now, this could be someone that was afraid of you getting a connection with someone else. Because this card says they're afraid of you being in love with someone else. So this could have been an ex. But this is someone who put you in a third party with a karmic partner. This could be somebody else's karmic partner. Or your karmic partner thought that they, you know, could have you in some type of third party. Because this card says a karmic partner put them in a third party. So... This could be somebody else's karmic partner that um, that person knows put them in a third party. Or as I say, they tried to put you in a third party with another person's karmic partner and it did not work. It's like you've moved forward. Yeah. And they're bitter. This is someone who is receiving karma for some type of spell work. Whatever these lies are, they backfired. And they're in disbelief that this backfired. Like they didn't think that whatever they said about you or whatever they, you know, paid people to say about you, they didn't think that this would come back on them. This is someone who did not want you to be happy. This could be someone that um, you've walked away from a situation peacefully but this person is someone who wanted to go back and forth or they they wanted it to be some type of tension because they're bitter. Yeah. 
and somebody is facing jail time. Like somebody did something um, deceptive. They could have scammed somebody or frauded somebody. Did something fraudulent behind the scenes. This could have been to you and they're facing jail time. Now, whoever this person was sleeping with, this karmic partner or this third party, this person was using some type of magic that they were trying to throw at you. So they could have hooked up with this person or um, got with this person after you walked away and they started trying to like put your life on hold. And it has backfired. And it's like whoever the person is that they teamed up with to throw some type of magic at you, this person had other family members of theirs like helping them to do whatever they were doing to you. And it's like this person that they were sleeping with. This person could have just been throwing magic at you out of jealousy. But when you walked away from this person, it's like they got even more mad. Because I'm getting they didn't want this person. You were the target. This is someone who was jealous of maybe the connection that you had with this ex. And it's like once they found out you walked away, this person was doing a lot behind the scenes to put your life on hold because they didn't want you to move forward in life. Maybe this person was like watching you um, prosper, watching you work on yourself, or they just felt like you moved on quick. Yeah, this person was out for revenge when you exposed the truth. So maybe you exposed this ex. And this could be something that does not have anything to do with this third party. Yeah, it's like you exposed this person. You were, you know, glad that you walked away from the situation. You were at peace. You were happy, but they weren't. This is someone who definitely did not have love for you. Yeah, and whoever the third party is, this is someone who was wanting to be you. They didn't want this person. It's like they were using that person. Maybe to feel like they were one-upping you or something like that. This could have been a secret competition. Now you have another person here with I'm in love with you. Somebody is in love with you and they could have been glad when you ended the situation out with this ex. This could be a secret admirer. Yeah. That toxic cycle is over. You have a jealous friend. Awakening. And then you have the truth was never supposed to get out. So you woke another person up to something. Whoever this person is that you woke up, they're secretly in love with you or they're in love with you. Because this card doesn't say secretly. But you exposed a jealous friend. Whoever this ex is, they could have been a jealous friend to the person that is in love with you. That was glad that you walked away from this person. Now, there was some type of injustice legal matter. This could be the lies that were told. And they thought that would never get out. Like they wouldn't, they wouldn't have to face what they did to create this injustice legal matter. They could have tried to hide this from different people. Maybe they were trying to hide this from you and whoever this person is that's in love with you. But you're woke. It's like you already knew that this ex was pressed. 
you could have already knew that this person was someone that was um, working with other people behind the scenes to hold you up or create blockages because you chose to move forward with your life. Yeah, this was definitely a karmic soulmate, karmic partner who um, thought that they would be able to keep you stuck based off of false accusations. And they felt like you would never find out. But as I say, with awakening being here, you're someone that is definitely in tune. You, you, you can, it's like, it's simple. You're someone that uses your common sense. This person could have threatened to take you to court or something like that as well. Yeah, but somebody just went and lied or they had a lot of people lie, make accusations that were not true because they weren't happy how things ended. And they felt like you were in this ten of cups. You're happy. You're at peace. You could have been spending time with family. Just out and about living your life. Yeah, they, they immediately realized they made a bad decision because maybe they felt like a legal situation would um, hold you up and make you want to come back toward them. But you ended out a cycle. You could have definitely felt like this person held you up in life. Yeah. And now you're being presented new opportunities. It's like you've ended out something to start something new. But you had to leave this person behind. Yeah, five of pentacles. This could be someone who does not want to work. It's like they expect for everybody to feel sorry for them, take care of them. It's like they like things to be handed to them easy. Now, this person could be watching you online with the Page of Swords and the High Priestess. This could be through a fake account. It's like they're still spying on you, watching you while they're in despair. Yeah, they're, they're trying to figure out if you've gotten in another relationship with the Four of Wands and the Queen of Cups. If they know about this person that's in love with you with the Page of Cups, they're trying to see... If um, you and that person are in communication or um, if that person has came toward you or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, wow, you're at peace. You have a strong, solid foundation. This person was baggage. And it's like, by you walking away, it's forcing them to stand up and take care of their own responsibilities. They don't want to do that. They're not accustomed to doing that. Yeah, this is someone that's very immature. And it's like everything has slowed down for this person, but speeded up for you. You know this person was like delaying you from doing whatever it is that you're doing now. But they didn't want to accept the fact that they were someone that was delaying you or a blockage in your life. This is someone who thought that false accusations would make you be seen as someone that was faulty. Or you were the reason why. Um, they walked away from you or something like that. But yeah, it's like everything has slowed down for this person. Wow, they've been trying to slow you down. Yeah. This is 
is someone who did not expect for you to use your intuition. Like you could be an empath. You could be someone that is very, um, very kind hearted, very loving, caring, but they didn't expect for you to like pull that energy back and put it into yourself. Yeah, it's like your intuition told you to block this person. So this is the one who thought they had you in the Eight of Swords. And this could have been using some type of manipulation and trickery with the devil in the Eight of Swords. If this is someone who was using manipulation, trickery, and different things like that, this could have been magic. You went into solitude. You definitely started researching if you started finding out the truth about what was being done. You started researching and you started cleansing yourself. Yeah. And now it's like this person has a dark cloud over them. They're in fear of what's to come. They didn't want to accept the ending the way it happened in the past. So now they're headed towards a harsh, painful ending for whatever they were trying to do to hold you up. Yeah, it's like you've been spiritually cleansing Removing things that does not serve purpose, especially for your spiritual growth. So somebody is finding out the truth about why you walked away from this person. They feel like you're receiving good karma. This is this sudden wealth and great fortune. You chose to take your energy back, your power back. Somebody thought they had some type of power over you. Yeah, and you could be someone that's celibate. You've been practicing celibacy. Yeah, you have enlightened and research, researching. Someone is facing jail time, so this is out here twice. This could be multiple people. Yeah, whoever tried to create obstacles for you, these are people that are facing jail time. It's like they've gotten their self caught up trying to have you caught up in some type of injustice legal matter. And whatever it is that they, whatever this ten of swords is that they have brought upon their self, this is going to stress them out even more. Because it's like whoever these people are or this person that you've left out, that person don't have anywhere to go, anyone to turn to. And it's like whoever they had to turn to, they could have lied to, to manipulate, to get to feel sorry for them. Those people are walking away. And it's like they're going to be in this energy of not having, they're going to feel like they've ran out of options and then boom. They're going to go through some type of unexpected karma. And this could be what they're fearing. Because they feel like whatever they try to do to you, it's not working. So they know it's coming back. And it's like it's all it could be already backfiring or manifesting in their life. But they're in fear because they did so much behind the scenes. Yeah, they're panicking. Because something they, they never intended on getting caught. Wow. So this person was using some type of blood magic to like keep you stuck, whoever this ex is. And maybe they didn't want people to know this. They definitely did not want you to find out, but you ended up going through some type of awakening. Something could have been shown to you or something was revealed to you. Or if you've woken up to your spiritual gifts, you found out. It's like you've received confirmation that this person was using some type of magic to keep you stuck. 
and that helped you to realize you made the right decision to walk away from that person. Now, whoever this other person is, this third party, this is someone who was also using magic. They wanted you out of the picture. Yeah, they're going through bad karma. But I don't know why I'm getting it's like they were attached to your ex, not because they wanted that person. This was to play in your energy and they felt like they could do it through this ex. They could have been attached to someone that is interested in you or they were jealous of that person being interested in you. And they could know this like they could know that person. They know how that person feel about you. They're in love with you. And they thought they would be able to throw rocks and hide their hands. Yeah, and they're going through karma. Somebody definitely tried to break in your home. Like somebody was doing a lot. And it's like, why are these people so pressed? You've moved forward with you. It's like you moved on with your life. And they can't. Maybe they didn't expect for you to go through this awakening. Somebody didn't expect for another person to think that um to realize they didn't love them. They were only using them. So this could be the person that you've walked away from. They never expected for you to see past an illusion. That's like you could have knew this for a long time intuitively that this person is someone that was using you. This person does not love you. This person could have been just attached to you because they didn't have anywhere to go. And it's like how if you met this person and they didn't have anywhere to go, Like this is someone who did not have their own stability. They're in that same energy. Yeah, this is someone who was definitely codependent to addictions. Now, somebody tried to send some type of karma to you, I mean, drama to you because you were meant to have a child with another person. But they were trying to keep this person on the wrong path. So this could be this third party. Like they know that you're meant to partner up with this other person. And maybe they didn't want that person to know. Like this could be someone that was attached to whoever the person is that's in love with you and this ex. Yeah, and they never thought that they would have to take accountability. So maybe they were using magic over that person. And once you woke up, you exposed this. And it helped this person to see that they're on the wrong path. They were confused. They're definitely seeing clear with seeing things for what it is. Yeah, you and this person are in separation because of this third party. So it's like whoever the person is that you have a destined partnership with, this could be a family member of theirs or someone that they were actually in a connection with that was sleeping with the person that you were attached to. It's like somebody thought they were having their cake and eat it too. Yeah. And it's like they're going through a lot of financial loss. They didn't want that person to realize that they were using them. And if this ex was somebody that was a friend of the person that you're destined to partner up with, the person that they were in a relationship with was sleeping with their friends. People that they were attached to. And they thought it would never come out. Yeah. This is somebody's karma. This was uh, whoever the person is that you're destined to partner up with, their karmic soulmate wanted revenge after you exposed this. And this is why they're so jealous. It's like it wasn't about this ex. This person is jealous of you because of the way this your divine counterpart loves you. 
They view you as someone that is beautiful inside and out. And if they've pulled their energy back from this person and they've been practicing celibacy, they're more pissed. They're more pressed. Yeah, if they interfered with this connection in the past with Runner being here and this person ghosted you and ran from the connection, they don't want to run anymore. Yeah, this is someone who is seeing exactly what you said or they're with understanding being here. Um, they're seeing the truth. They found out that this person was someone that was using like magic over them. They were trying to throw magic at you out of jealousy. Because they just knew they knew that you and this person were meant to do something together before you knew and before that person knew. It's like this ex was bait to get in your energy. Yeah. And whoever your um divine counterpart is, this person is definitely in their emotions, like deep in their emotions. Because they feel like they sabotaged a connection in the past. This could be because they were blinded to the truth. Yeah, they feel like they neglected you. They failed to give you what you needed. Yeah. But being away from you have helped them to gain a lot of clarity. It has helped them to see past an illusion. Yeah. The truth overwhelmed whoever this person is. But this is someone who is wanting to start a new chapter. This is someone who has been working hard to move past this betrayal, um, this guilt, this regret. And they want to have a future with you. This person is realizing that they ghosted you because they needed to see the truth. But this person also needed to take care of their responsibilities. It was like things that they needed to work on as well. In order to be able to fix something with you or mend the connection that you and them share. Yeah, so this person could have definitely needed to clear out negative karma. You needed to clear out negative karma. A lot of healing needed to take place before you and that person could come together and heal the connection that you and them share. There's been a lot of blockages and it's like they didn't see it in the past, but they're seeing it now. The truth overwhelmed them and weighed them down. Yeah. It's like by the, by the time they found out the truth, they were, you know, they felt drained. And this could be because all of the, the magic this person was using over them to keep them confused. And maybe they were trying to figure out, you know, researching with enlightenment and researching here, how to cleanse their self. Yeah. This could be someone who was fasting. They definitely stopped having um, sex. And they started eating different. 
This could be someone who's a vegetarian or a vegan, like they don't eat meat. Or dairy products. Yeah, this person have definitely, it's like they pulled their energy all the way back. It's hard for them to trust, especially now that they're, they're enlightened, they're aware. This is someone who is leaving behind everything that does not serve purpose, a mindset, different people. But I'm getting a lot of people don't know this. Like people don't know that that person is like woke. Maybe they just pulled their energy back and people didn't know why. Yeah, they've been focusing on loving their self. A lot of people know that this person is someone that's secretly in love with you. Like this is something they have not expressed. Yeah, this is someone who has been working hard on their self because they're wanting to come toward you. This is someone who has been educating their self. Um, this could be getting their finances in order. This person could be someone that's saving as well. Because they, they've transitioned. This is someone that could be very private. Like a lot of people are not, now that they've put their energy back, a lot of people, they don't know. It's like with the moon being here, these could be people that are in fear of this person coming towards you, or this could be the person that was using this magic. Like they don't know if that person is going to come towards you or not because this person is so closed off. Yeah, two of pentacles. This is what I was thinking in my head. Like somebody is juggling back and forth. And they don't know what to do. They're unsure if the magic is working or not because this person is someone who have not came toward you, but they're isolated. They've put their energy back. They've been working on their self. It's like somebody have held their self up trying to see and prevent your divine counterpart from coming toward you. Yeah, it's like this person is not sure if it's working or not because somebody is very secretive and private. They could be acting as if they don't know what's going on with the Two of Swords, like they're indecisive. Yeah. But this is someone who have been healing. They've been cleansing, energy clearing. And they're way more focused than what they were. If this is someone that was immature, this person is more mature than what they were. And they're coming out of this. Um, they're coming out of isolation. I'm getting when this person went in solitude, they realize how much they have lost their self. This is someone who have took out the time to pull their energy back and find their self again. Like as soon as that person pulled back, this is crazy. This person had whoever was helping them, whoever was helping this third party, like different family members, they had those people believing that um, that person did something to them. But they didn't want people to know that they got rejected.
It's like somebody just chose to focus on healing their self. They didn't want to um, be sexually active with this person anymore. And they got upset. Lied to a lot of people to help them. Whoever this ex is, they lied to people to help them. And all of this has backfired. These are people that did not want to be released. These were definitely soul ties that needed to be severed. Um, between the person that was attached to your divine counterpart and whoever you were attached to. Yeah, in order for a cycle to end out. And a union to happen between you and your divine counterpart. It's like they're they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken because they've made their self believe that whatever they were doing to slow down a union, it speeded it up. Or it just made you and your divine counterpart isolate and focus on individual growth, personal growth. Okay, so this card says when you hold on to the past, it stops you from living in the present. Release any old hurts or worries or regrets. Commit to being in the here and now. Forgive yourself for where you think you may have been wrong. You deserve inner peace. Let it go. This is what you cho you chose to do. Like you just chose to isolate. You didn't react. It's like when you found out this person had used some type of blood magic over you, before you went through this awakening, it could have went a different way. But after you were viewing things from a higher perspective, this was a lesson that you needed to learn. You chose to release regret, guilt, and you forgave yourself. You could have also forgiven this person. And you chose peace inner peace, happiness, over drama, confusion, chaos. And this is why they're so upset because everything they were trying to send to you, they're dealing with. And they never intended on it backfiring. These are people that got scared when the truth came out and they started panicking. Because these are people that could have felt as if you were going to tell a lot of people or you were going to react in a certain way. But that wasn't your main focus. Your main focus was on you. And doing the work on yourself to just move forward in life. And this is why they're watching in disbelief. Wow, this person have done a lot, made a lot of changes. And this is why they're manifesting this sudden wealth. This is why they're continuing to be blessed. As they thought that they would hold you up, hold up your divine counterpart, they're realizing they just held their self up. 